name is Jeff Evler, and welcome to Art and Stories, brought to you by Happen, Inc. I'm an author and an illustrator. I've illustrated chapter books. I do a comic series. And I've also written and illustrated a lot of picture books. If you like this video, please consider me for Zoom meetings and art demos at your local school or library. You can check out my website and subscribe to my YouTube page. Also, please check out all of the great content, videos, activities, and events going on at Happen Inc. Today, we will be reading a story called Click. Now, Click is a bedtime story about a boy who's trying to fall asleep in a house that's full of noises. And our hero is a bedside lamp that's shaped like a bird who comes to life and runs through the house and tries to get all the objects in the house that are making noises to fall asleep. And so the reason that we're starting this off in, our, in my kitchen today is because I wanted to make all the objects in this boy's house have a face to make it look like they're alive. And I didn't want to just put, you know, googly eyes or smiley faces on all of the objects. I wanted to try and find faces in objects that we see every day. So I thought we could take a look around my kitchen and I could show you some hidden faces in things that we see every day. Do you see the face in the stovetop? How about now? This oven looks like it might be wearing a hat. Try looking at things different ways, like maybe turning it upside down to see a different face. You might even see how the object is feeling, like this sink looks like it's going, oh. Take a look around your house today. You'll start seeing faces everywhere. Now you might notice that there aren't a lot of words in this book. This is actually a mostly wordless picture book, which is great because you can really figure out what's going on in the story just by looking at the pictures and trying to figure out for yourself what's going on. But there are a few words, and all of those words are sound effects. And it's what's called onomatopoeia. Those are words that mean sounds. So like bang and boom and click and clack. Those are all words that are sounds. Those are called onomatopoeias. So I want you to look out for all of those different kinds of words throughout the story, because those are really the only words in the whole book. <sighs> So our story starts out, you can see that there's the dad and the little boy and they're reading a bedtime story and there's that lamp that's shaped like a bird that I told you about that's shining a light on them as they're reading. And the little boy, he's ready to go to sleep. So he's gonna click off the light and he's gonna yawn. But the house is really noisy. And so we can hear coming from the door, a drip, drop, drip, drop and it's making it so that the boy can't fall asleep and he's gonna toss, turn, toss, turn in bed, trying to fall asleep. And so the little bird lamp, he's gonna click on his light and he's gonna walk across the floor, tip, tap, click, click, tip, tap, click, click. He's going to investigate where the noise is coming from. And so he ends up in the bathroom and he hears a drip, drop, drip, drop. And you can see that it's coming from the faucet. And so the bird lamp, he's going to jump up on the handle and he's going to crank and crank and that's going to turn off the faucet. And then the bathtub is going to say, ah, because the dripping is stopped. But our bird lamp's job is not done yet. He hears from outside the bathroom, achoo, sniff, sniff, achoo, sniff, sniff. And so he's got to go and search for where that sound is coming from now. And so he's walking down the stairs, tip, tap, click, click, tip, tap, click, click, searching all over for where that sound is coming. And you can see there's faces all over the place, even in the wood grain, on the spindles, on the staircase, there are faces, on the lamp, on the window here, there are faces everywhere. You just kind of search for them. And so now the bird lamp is downstairs and he sees that there's a broom in the corner that's, that's sneezing because there's a bunch of dust around it. He's saying, achoo, sniff, sniff. A true sniff sniff. And so our bird lamp, he's gonna grab a little broom and he's gonna sweep, sweep up all the dust and he's gonna hand a tissue to the broom and the broom says, ah, because he's not sneezing anymore. But there is still more noise. 
From the other sides of the room, we hear rock, rock, creak, creak, and flap, flap, rustle, rustle. Because we can see that the window is open and it's blowing onto the rocking chair and it's making the rocking chair creak. So our bird lamp, he's gonna run across the room to try and make everybody be quiet. Tip, tap, click, click, tip, tap, click, click. He's running across the floor. And so he pulls a rug underneath the rocking chair. Swish, swish, glide, glide. And he jumps up on the window and closes it. Slide, slide, and then hush. It's finally quiet in the house. And so our bird lamp, he's gonna turn off his light and sneak back to the boy's room. Tip, tap, click, click. He's walking past the broom who's fast asleep. Tip, tap, click, click. He's walking past the bathtub that's fast asleep. And he goes back in the room, but the poor boy, he's still not asleep yet. Do you see why? Because the boy has dropped his stuffed animal onto the ground. And so the lamp is gonna push the little stuffed animal back into the boy's arms. Push, push, nuzzle, nuzzle. The boy has his stuffed animal back and the boy finally falls fast asleep. Until, ring! The alarm goes off and the boy wakes up and he clicks on the light in his room and he yawns and he's ready to wake up and have a good day. A day full of sounds because in the kitchen there's a clang clang from the pots and pans and a whistle whistle from the coffee maker and a sizzle sizzle from the bacon and eggs frying on the stove and a beep beep from the smoke alarm because the bacon and eggs burn a little bit and a slurp slurp from the drink and a whirl whirl from the fan vroom vroom from the vacuum and tumble tumble from the washer and dryer toot toot when he's practicing trumpet shuffle shuffle when he's playing cards flush flush from the toilet brush brush from brushing his teeth and finally his day is over and just like the story began he's gonna yawn and click off the light and it's time to go back to bed again Every picture book I do has about 34 illustrations. Each one of those illustrations is a painting that I do on paper with acrylic paint. You can see here, this is the first page of Click. This is what the painting looks like for that same page. Now you might be wondering why this painting is in a frame. When I've finished all the paintings for a book, I'll pack them all up and send them off in the mail to the publisher. That's the place that prints the book. And then they will take pictures of all of those paintings and they will use those pictures for the book. The great thing is, is that after they're done taking pictures of my paintings, they send them back to me. And I get to use those paintings sometimes in gallery shows or in shows at museums like the Maza Museum in Sydney, Ohio. Here are some pictures of a gallery show where I had some of my paintings. And I also made a sculpture of the bird lamp from Click. I hope you noticed the music in today's video. I want to thank my friend Jonathan for writing and performing the music, and for my nephew James for playing drums and marimba. Here's a clip of us recording that song. Five, six, seven. to thank Happen Inc. for inviting me to share my art and stories with you today. If you'd like to purchase a signed copy of one of my books, please visit Downbound Books in Northside. Thanks! <laughs>